It is the holidays, and in the spirit of the holidays, we're going to honor some hometown heroes. This next guest is just that, a truly remarkable story. This is her story. This all began nine years ago when I was at the U.S. Post Office, and I found a letter on the floor, and it said to Santa Claus, it was addressed to the North Pole. So I picked it up and I started thinking, where do all the letters go that kids write to Santa Claus? And they said, well, all the letters go to the North Pole facility in South Central Los Angeles. We receive about 4,000 letters a day. She said, oh, come on down. And there were thousands and thousands of letters. I actually saw this one letter and it was really sparkly. It had reindeers on it. And I opened up the letter and it said, Dear Santa Claus, can you please bring us some food? We're hungry. And I pick up the next letter. Dear Santa Claus, I am getting bullied at school just because I have holes in my clothes. The next letter, can you please bring us a blanket because we sleep on the floor and it gets really cold at night. Children asking to pay their light bill on the verge of being homeless, of being evicted, that are starving. And I said, what happens with all these letters? And she says, honey, this is the shredding facility. All these children's dreams are gonna be shredded. I was completely shocked. Thousands of kids that are desperately crying for help really struck a chord with me because a year and a half before that, I was hit by a drunk driver. This car was coming towards me and it was this big explosion. And I remember I just went somewhere else. And I hear this voice that was coming from inside me and says, we're all here to evolve. And um, so we evolved through giving. When you have a new death experience, you start thinking, you know, why are we here? So I look at all the letters and I knew that my mission was to reach out to people who are crying for help and nobody hears them. I ended up taking 2,000 letters. I put everything out on an email, sent it out, and said, who wants to adopt this letter? The email ended up in China, in Russia, in London. Within three weeks, I received like three truckloads of gifts from people from all over the world. It was magical. You'll be surprised how many kids don't have Christmases. The look on their face, and these kids are mesmerized. The first Christmas, I adopted 1,700 kids, and by the end of the year, we reached 14,000 kids. I was so angry at that accident, but when I look at it now, I just think, oh my God, I found my true purpose in life. Kimberly joins us, and at this stage of the game, how many kids has your foundation helped out? Up to date, um, I have adopted about 40,000 letters. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Dr. Berman was blessed to spend some time with Kimberly, and after the break, we're gonna get to see the first of the adopt -a letters fulfilled wishes, and Dr. Berman, of course, was there for all oh, the surprises, I, I'm so. Ready, just thinking about stick it. Stick around, everyone. Coming up, we're back with Kimberly as she makes dreams come true. How are you? That's coming up. Earlier in the show, you remember we met Kimberly. We heard her beautiful story. Our own Dr. Berman met up with her, and they started answering Santa letters together. Let's have a look. So Karina writes, Dear Santa, I would like clothes, shoes, and toys for my siblings. My biggest wish in the world is to meet Sheyo Carrillo. He's a famous singer, by the way. Oh, he's a famous singer? Mm -hmm. Like a Justin Bieber, but... I don't like the... Yeah, I kind of like a Justin Bieber. So let's make this happen. Hi! How are you? Oh! Hi. Hi! Santa got your letter. Do you play basketball? It's cool. It's cool. We like Lego. You like Legos? Whoa, look at this one. That's cool, you get to build pyramids and stuff. Look at this one. Burlington Stores heard about your story and they would like to give you all $1,000 oh to go shopping God. for clothes. <laughs> we got you two bags of groceries, food for less. We'd like to give you today $1,000 to go grocery shopping. Oh, you make me cry too. <laughs> I have somebody that I want you to speak to. Karina? Yes, I'm Karina. Do you believe that our dreams really do come true? Yes, I do believe it. I want to make your dream come true. Can I make that happen? I'm here for you. I know you're going to have a private concert. I feel shocked. I don't know. I have no words. 
Desde el primer momento que te vi mis ojos ya no parpadearon Pero es que si cry, I'm cry Me dejaste frío y al principio no supe salir de la impresión Hasta que tomé el valor I wrote to Santa because I wanted to like see my siblings happy. No es normal que estés sintiendo esto que hasta ahora nunca había sentido. Can really like make make my dream come true. Contigo junto aquí en tu casa. We'll be right back. Welcome back. The Kimberly Moore Foundation has an adopt a letter program that personally answers letters to Santa, making many children's dreams a reality, just like these. Dear Santa, my name is Ruby and I have cerebral palsy. Can you bring sweaters for me and my siblings? We're looking for Ruby. Hi. Santa's helpers. Ruby, hi. Early Christmas. Hey. Hey. <laughs> So all, all of these kids live here yeah. with her. We all live here. This woman right here, she raised us. To me, she's my mother because she raised us and now she's raising the grandkids. I got Ruby when she was born. And she got the cerebral palsy, so I take care of her. You're an angel. Food for Less wanted to do something extra special for you. So they're giving you $1,000 in groceries, okay? Oh, thank you. Yes. I thank Santa because she brought all this to us. I'm so happy we got to see you. Thank you, Santa. Francisco, yeah? Dear Santa, I want to give my toys to a kid named Guillermo. He is born a little bit blind. Oh. Hey. hey! Merry Christmas, you cute, sweet, fabulous boy. We got your letter to Santa. That's awesome. And what did you want us to do this Christmas? to get my presents to a kid named Guillermo because he doesn't have enough money to buy food or toys. So you're not gonna have a Christmas because of that? Yes. Oh! All right, so how about we go surprise Guillermo? Yes. Hello! Hello, Santa! Our friends That's at really cool. Lego gave these especially for you. Gracias. Our friends at Burlington Stores have gifted you $1,000 yeah. from Burlington Stores. Hi, oh, thank you. He felt he cared so much about this boy that he gave his Christmas presents to Guillermo. Oh. Dile thank you, Francisco. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Kimberly joins us again. We're also joined by Francisco. And I am so proud of you, Francisco, for trying to make this Christmas really special for a friend of yours. What made you want to help other kids? Kimberly helped us. I feel bad that other kids didn't get what I got. So that made me think that I should, I should help other people just like Kimberly. And you know what? You deserve something too. You know, you wanted to make sure there's food for your family and clothes for your family, so Burlington stores, they're gonna give you a thousand dollars. And food for less, so you can get groceries and have all the food you need, they're gonna give you a thousand dollars as well. Thank you very much. And you told me earlier what you wanna be when you grow up. What is that? A scientist. We're gonna send you somewhere really cool. The science camp this summer at the California Science Center. They have a hands-on science camp. They offer a class for every age and stage to inspire young imaginations. But something else really cool is happening. Because you like to study. You told me you like school. The team at Microsoft wanted to hook you and your family up with the new Surface Book laptop. Whoa. So you can use that for school. How does that sound? Awesome. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, you see? oh my goodness, buddy. Thanks for what you're doing. We do have one more surprise. To help you one day reach your goals of going to college, Cal Rudman is a music industry legend and noted philanthropist, sends along the following message to you. When we heard your beautiful story, it truly touched us. Therefore, Francisco, the Cal and Lucille Rudman Foundation 
through the Kimberly Moore Foundation has proudly made it possible to award you a $5,000 scholarship for college. We say it a lot, you are the man, you're, you're the man. You are the man. And Kimberly, you have done so much. We have a few surprises for you as well. During the holiday season, I know you will probably fulfill thousands of holiday wishes. Well, to help lighten the load, our friends at Lego are gonna gift you $20,000 worth of Lego toys for the kids. Oh, that's amazing. That's incredible, thank you. You're welcome, but, but that's not all. We have another surprise. I want you to, to take a look up there. Hi, Kimberly. The women of Evolve MKD heard your story and we were touched. We're always inspired by women who go above and beyond in their community to make a difference. So to that end, Evolve MKD is proud to present the Kimberly Moore Foundation with a check for $15,000. Happy Holidays! <laughs> oh my God! And these are gifts to help you do what you do, which is truly remarkable, but sometimes you have to take time for yourself. Kimberly, her husband, they work so hard. They devote most of their time to their foundation during the holidays. Not enough time for the two of you. So if we're gonna send you on a five day, four night, all inclusive vacation at the five star Hyatt Ziva Rose Hall in Montego Bay, Jamaica. Your round trip airfare will be covered by JustFly.com. They're the new go-to travel website for booking cheap flights online. Kimberly, keep up all the great work. And, and Francisco, thank you so much for coming here today, buddy. Happy holidays to you. Thank you for all you're doing. And hey, if you're at home, go to our website, thedoctorstv.com. We'll have Kimberly's website there with more information on how you can adopt a letter this holiday season. I encourage everyone watching to do so, but don't go anywhere. Here's what's coming up next.